hello my dear students uh, welcome back to my class so in previous class we have been discussing about uh, units right units and different types of units okay so now to, uh, as i told you so today we are going to discuss the different types of units means different system of units not types actually different system of units as well as the uh, si units and if time allows we'll discuss the different topics okay so now what uh, what is the system of units right what is what is unit there is difference right unit and system of units system of units mean combination of two three units or it may be more than two three okay this is the combination of units is called the system of units okay so in earlier times okay we basically we were using some units called say one so system of units okay cgs we are using what cgs c oh c g s system of unit okay so this is generally adopted in france okay this is a french system of unit you can say this is what france okay this is this was used in france but we also use in india but then first it is adopted in what france okay so here what is the full form of cgs so for c we use centimeter centimeter okay so centimeter is generally for what length okay z stands for gram z stands for what gram gram is generally what amount of uh, generally for mass mass of the body to express the mass of the body we use what gram okay and second uh, s stands for second right this is what second second sorry sorry second second this is for time as you already know it right so this is cgn system of unit and it is a metric system of unit it is what kind of it is a metric system of unit i'll tell you what is metrics after some few times okay so next system of unit is f p s okay this is british unit what kind of unit uh, uh, where it, it is generally what british system of unit okay so this british system so f is stands for so this is foot is for what it is for foot is for length this is for what length and p d, uh, t p stands for pound for mass okay this is for mass and s is for second s is second and it's for time so it is generally adopted in what uk or you can say this is in london so this is what british system of unit and this is what france adopted in france okay again we have one common again this is not metric system of unit this is not metric system of unit next we have in third this is m k s what m k s where m stands for meter m is what meter it is used for length and k is kilogram is kilo gram okay it is what kilogram generally for mass unit or mass and s stands for second and is for time okay these were the three system of units that the different countries were using okay but there is a problem if each and every country they use their different units if they use their own different units there might be problem when there might be problem when we have to deal something internationally means cross border overseas suppose you are a businessman right suppose you are dealing something with what say uk london okay so suppose you are importing some say potatoes suppose you are importing or ex you, you do export import business say for potato okay every time when they import something right when they import something to you that potato they always give you the quantity in pound right they will uh, they will tell uh, they they will tell you the quantity of potato in pound and you don't have any idea about the pound what is pound right what is the relation between pound and kg because in india you are using kg 1 kg of potato 2 kg of potato right all these kinds so when they express you in pound and you don't have any kind of knowledge so you must have someone who can convert pound to kg or kg to pound right and if, if uh, some uh, uh, british people dealing some business with us and if we express that our quantity of potato in kg again they will face some problems right they will face some problem what is kg what is the relation of kg with pound right if i tell my weight in pound now you will get some confusion right how 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 many kg it is how much kg it is you will get confused because we don't use pound 
generally we, we, we may know but we generally don't use pounds a common people will get confused so to uh, this kind of confusion where different countries uses different system of unit so that's why what the one conference right was organized which is known as general conference of weight and measure general conference of what weight and measure in 1960 in which year in 1960 okay and in this conference they means in in the year of 1960 they come to the conclusion that all the countries in the world will use a standard means the same kind of unit which is called si and it was adopted in france it was what adopted in france the full form of si is system d internationally right system d internationally this is the french word and generally in short we just call this standard international this is si system this is internally internationally accepted system of unit means each and every country suppose when you express in si unit they have to know it i mean they know it okay is it clear clear okay so now next we'll discuss more detail in si why they have adopted that particular system of unit that si system of unit okay so as i told you so let me revise once okay so three system of units that different countries were using in the earlier times one is cgs another one is mks and another one is what fps fps is what british unit cgs is what using in france as one more point cgs and mks are metric system of unit okay and fps is not a metric system of unit now come to the si unit which is standard internationally which is accepted in the year of 1960 by the general conference of weight and measure in france okay so so for si i'll make one table so because we have so many units in si okay so now you can write advantages of si unit advantage of what advantages of si unit the first advantage of si unit is it has more units than any other system of unit it has what more units than any other system of units so it is total seven plus two units how many seven plus two seven fundamental units and two supplementary units okay so here i have to make one table so to write all the units okay so here i'll write units unit so better let's write physical quantity here physical quantity say here unit and here you can write abbreviations or symbol okay so first we have seven fundamental quantities we have seven fundamental quantities so let me write so serial number so one two three four five six seven okay seven so far say length let's start with length and mass time temperature temperature when i say temperature in some book you might get thermodynamical temperature but the same meaning okay current current also in some book they are writing current electricity and here say luminous intensity luminous intensity and in the seventh we have amount of substance amount of substance or they might in some other book you might get quantity of matter or quantity of matter okay so these are the seven fundamental these are what seven fundamental quantities length mass time temperature current luminous intensity amount of substance so this is seven this is how much total seven as i told you two supplementary units are there so supplementary units okay for the supplementary units we'll discuss after some time okay so first in si what is the unit of length this is meter this is what meter and what is the symbol of meter that is m and mass mass is expressed in kilogram mass is expressed in what kilogram so its symbol is kg okay next time is expressed in what second and its symbol is s and <coughs> temperature is expressed in what kelvin k e l v i n kelvin and its symbol is k 
Kelvin is the name of scientist, so use we use capital letter for this unit. Okay, current. Current electricity. Its unit is ampere. Its unit is what? Ampere. We write A. Okay. In generally, we write AMP, right? We write AMP in sometimes in solving numericals, but theoretically or according to the book, when we write AMP, this is wrong. This is what? Wrong. Even we write Z, ZM like this, right? Generally, this is also according to the book, this is wrong. Okay. We should not write the unit, uh, write the gram unit like this ZM. We just have to write Z gram. Ampere, we have to just write A. A denotes ampere. So luminous intensity is candela. Luminous intensity is what? Candela. So its symbol is CD. Okay, next, I'm telling about the supplementary units, right? SI consists of 7 plus 2. 7 is fundamental units. 2 plus 2 is what? Supplementary units. So this, for supplementary units, we have the supplementary quantities, which is plane angle. Its unit is radian. Okay, plane angle that we already use in degree radian, right? This angle. What is plane angle? I'll tell you after some time. And what is, uh, another one is what? Solid angle. Solid angle is measured in stair radian. What? In stair radian. In short, we express this one SR. Okay, now. So what is plane angle, right? Dear students, what is plane angle? So let me give you one. Uh, let me give you an example. Say this is a circle. Say here is the center of the circle. So let me uh, consider a small arc, right? AB. Small arc. What? AB. Okay. <coughs> The angle subtended by this arc here in the center, say this is theta, right? So this angle subtended by this plane, right, to the objects, this is what we measured in radian. We measured in what? Radian. This is angle subtended by what? Plane objects. Is it clear? Or 2D. When we discuss something in 2D. So this is two dimension we get to express the angle we, get, we have radian. Okay, this is supplementary unit. And when we discuss solid angle, when we discuss solid angle, it is about the 3D. It is three dimension. Let me, uh, you can take the example of a football, right? You can example of a round, spherical, watermelon, right? Angle subtended by this round object, right? Spherical object at center is expressed in stair radian. In short, this is SR. Okay. One more point. Angle subtended by this uh, plane means this 2D, this circle at center. Total angle is how much? Twice pi. How much? Twice pi. This is in radian. If I express in degree, this is 2 multiplied by pi means 180 degree. This is 360 degree. Okay. And the total angle subtended by, it means the solid angle subtended by object. Total solid angle. At the center, suppose a football, spherical object. This is how much? This is 4 pi. How much? This is 4 pi. So, okay. So, these things you have to know, right? Okay. So, next, so this is about the SI. And now, we'll... Uh, we'll discuss more advantages of SI units. So now we come to know how many units that SI system has, right? And as well as one advantage, they, they have, they have, SI unit has more units. This is 7 plus 2. And we already listed all the basic as well as supplementary. Take number 2, the advantage of SI system. It is a rational system of unit. SI is what? Rational. R-A-T-I-O-N-A-L. Rational system of unit. SI is what? SI is rational system of unit. So by uh, what do you mean by the rational system of unit, right? What is the meaning of rational? Means for the same kind of physical quantity. What? For the same kind of physical quantity, we use only one type of unit. For the same kind of physical quantity, we use only one type of unit. So for example, energy. When I say energy, right? Energy. You know, right? What is energy? Ability to do work, right? Energy. So there are different types of energy. There are what? Different types of energies are there. Okay. So let me give you some example. Okay. So suppose electrical energy. What? Electrical energy. Electrical energy. And suppose mechanical energy. Mechanical energy. And different kinds of electrical uh, heat energy. Right? And you'll get different kinds of energy again. Okay. Etc. So for this electrical energy, mechanical, whether this is electrical energy, whether this is mechanical energy, whether this is me uh, heat energy or any kind of energy, we use only one kind of unit that is Joule. That is what? Joule. Okay. Is it clear? So this is the meaning of rational for same kind of different physical quantity. When the physical quantities means the name are different, but they express the same meaning. Logically, they are same. For this, we only express one, uh, we only use one type of unit, right? I think rational is clear. Many 
same kind of many physical quantity but only one unit that is the advantage one more advantage of what SI system of unit next move on to next advantage of SI system of units so that is <coughs> it is a metric system of unit it is what kind of unit metric it is metric system of unit it is what metric system of unit so what is the meaning of metric system even I have already told you earlier right I will explain now uh, later means now I will explain what is metric system of unit means when we try to convert okay let me simplify for you okay so when we say metric means we can express the units in multiple of 10 in the with the power of 10 we can express with the power of 10 suppose if we want to convert one system of unit into another then we can express in the multiple of 10 okay now look here suppose here I have one meter okay I have what one meter I want to convert this into centimeter I want to convert this into what centimeter so one meter is equivalent to how much 100 centimeter so I can write 10 multiplied by 10 centimeter so this is 10 square centimeter so one meter is equivalent to how much 10 to the power 2 centimeter so that's why the SI system of unit is a metric system of unit it means that when we convert a unit from one form to another we can express in form of what this uh, in form of power of 10 what power of 10 this is the meaning of metric system of unit okay uh, okay next next advantage suppose next next advantage of SI system of unit is it is very close to CGS SI is what close to CGS or you can if you want just you try to get the meaning you can use the different uh, sentence also it is very close to CGS okay because generally what do we do generally we uh, we most of the time we use SI uh, as well as the CGS also right for the small length we use centimeter for uh, practical purposes right so again this is what how, how close it is so every time it's very easy to convert the SI system of units into CGS let me give you one example suppose say 1 kg I'm taking 1 kg to express this into CGS C CGS means mass so this is mass so in gram how much this is 1000 kg right 1000 kg it's very it's easy it's easily we can memorize the thing easily okay because everything it comes in multiple of 10 okay so so this is the advantage and again more advantage it is a coherent system of units okay we can uh, we can express in mul multiplication division of units okay it is a coherent system of units so let me repeat okay so it is it has more units one advantage next it is a rational system of unit it is a metric system of unit it is very close to SI it is a coherent system of units okay I'll explain in my later um, next class what is coherent system of units okay dear students so now time is up so okay so I hope you guys will study at home I give you one assignment that you buy by heart all the SI units so okay for today bye and take care